Hello, 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 hello. Say hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, McKay, last media. Sup, 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 sup. Hello, Nikori. Here you are, loud and clear. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Nice, nice. How are you, MTO Creations? Uh, sup, sup. How are you? How have you been? And uh, Adele V, how are you? I'm trying to put in, put on some music here. Uh, uh before we can. Hello, Sehan Theminda. Sup. Just trying to look for some musiki. Good, good, nice, nice, very well. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. How is music called in your I know for for most people here who are English speakers, music is music. Uh, but uh how is it called in your language? Hello my name Perry, how are you? Yeah, so I've been uh, working on a few things. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I'm working on some more geometry nodes stuff. Where is my video? Okay. Uh, by the way, this is... Uh, a river generator I'm, I'm trying to ma I'm making I'll be giving it away on my uh, my website and uh, this is uh, another one uh, rope generator as well of free soon I'll be making a, a video on demonstrating how they work how you can use them and uh, then giving them away on my website. And uh, this is a, a road, a railroad generator. Yeah, uh, there are supposed to be four generators. So anyway, let's uh, get into today's topic, which is trying to make interesting art. Um, I want to get uh, to get better at presenting my work uh, that's why you see i'm uh, trying to do a lot of this type of art because uh, it's uh, simple stuff but uh yeah presented in a way that uh i don't know yeah, let me just make sure that everything is good seems like we are seems like we are set to go what am I missing Hey, C4T, I uh, thank you for resubscribing. Is that a resubscribing? Oh, uh, uh, uh. Ah. Thank you. Thank you for becoming a member again, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let's, let's make this. Let's try to make this. Very simple stuff, but uh, it's, it, it teaches us to present it's about presentation it's about presentation mega mind yeah we we're just learning to do the presentation stuff because we we we, we know blender we can do basically anything we want but uh, we want that Make it, give it a wall factor. Uh, the OG Blender Guru uh, fans know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so let's let's see. How do we make this? Huh. 
Maybe I spoke too soon on uh, saying we could do everything in Blender. This looks like uh, a bit complicated, but uh, let's see. Hmm. Can we use... Looks like an array system was used here. Uh, but I think it would be better to just use geometry nodes. What's up? CT4, how are you? How are you? Glad to see you subscribing again. Thank you, thank you. Let's use... Um, let's start with a plane. I'm going to give this a concrete material. Give this a concrete material. There's something about the YouTube player I don't like. Is you have to keep a window, the window, the YouTube player window open, which eats up, eats up a lot of space for me. Yeah, cause I, I, anyway, okay. So this, uh, I think we we need uh, like a curve rotated ninety degrees. Like that, and I can go into geometry nodes. Uh, geometry nodes like that. New geometry nodes, and uh, uh, sample, sample curve or resample curve, and uh, then instance on points. And they just use other plane as our instance. Let me hide the original object. So something like that. Now we can increase the count here. But uh, we want to give that, give these a rotation like that. So, so I think I, I just need to. So we have the rotation here, and we just want the Z rotation, so I can use a uh, combine. Use the index. Ah, except the index doesn't work because uh, the index doesn't follow uh, the index is not linear, it's not just from one point. It's not a count up the spline length. So instead of using the index, uh, we, we need to use something like uh, the spline parameter uh, because that has the length of factor uh, that should uh, give us that, something like that. Let me see, if I use length, then I get a more stronger angle, which I can then use something like a multiply, a math node. And that is quite challenging. Well, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think it's that challenging. It's just, looks complicated at the beginning. Maybe a way to arrange these in a way that uh, looks like this, maybe. Uh, I think I need to use multiply and just yeah something like that and then now let me see and uh, what I like about this is that uh, moving the uh, this around doesn't doesn't really change the gaps between Uh, doesn't change the gaps between this, which is nice. Uh, let me first change the aspect ratio, um, move the camera closer. Then maybe even just come in here, change to cycles, the noise at 100, and uh, what else, what else? 
a sky texture aspect ratio I was changing the aspect ratio yeah 1080 1920 uh, maybe make it a bit wider less strong and uh, this is enclosed Uh, looks like it's enclosed so I'll just put it in a cube let me grab a concrete material like uh, this maybe hmm? Always my plane. Uh, I think to make my life simpler, I can just give this plane. I can do everything from uh, within geometry nodes so that I can just. I, so instead of using this, I can use a grid. Grid. Uh, this gives me um, more control over everything so and uh, the reason I wanted to use a grid is because I can easily use the extrude uh, mesh then I can give this a set material concrete like about let me see is this uh, properly UV unwrapped uh, doesn't seem so if I save abstract It's not properly UV unwrap, but uh, I can just use uh, capture UV and just UV unwrap this directly here. Oh, let me go to the concrete material and just make sure that I'm using uh, UV mapping sorry object mapping uh, to save myself some of the headache of UV unwrapping in ge using geometry nodes Do you know how to rig I yes and uh, no I know the some basics I, I can uh, rig uh, a usable car uh, rig rigging is a complicated uh it's it's a wide wide very wide uh, so but uh, I, I can do some basic rigging depends how complex the model is I think I need these to be wider. They look to be wider. Or maybe first make these like that. And I can use a scale scale elements here. Yes. So is it something like this? I guess the offset is also. Hello, Marcus. Glad to see you again. Oh, 
One thing I don't like about geometry nodes is that when you use the extrude, it leaves it doesn't extrude uh, in the same way that uh, the normal extrusion works. It leaves one face empty. It doesn't. It leaves the extrusion uh, open, not closed. So what I usually do is just join back the original geometry, so we we don't have any closed geometry, and then merge. Uh, the things after how would you apply an oil fume dripping stain on this concrete texture how would you apply oil stroke fume a uh, dripping stain on this concrete texture uh, like in a way that is animated or just just a single a simple texture Okay, so I seems we have something like that. Oh, and uh, we need a copy of this. Shift D. Uh, okay, need control over the count. And maybe the width or the scale of these. So I'm just going to expose those that as well. So And I think, let me see, let's, let's see how this looks. Okay. Not bad so far. Uh, the only thing, maybe we need some light blockers and uh, this concrete needs to look white, like in the render. Can you add ambient occlusion in geometry nodes? Ambient occlusion? I don't think you can. No, I, I, I don't think you can. That's something you, you either can you can either do that in uh in the compositor. think this is still a bit too bright and uh, maybe the elevation the rotation should be maybe on the left yeah something like that so we are not looking at direct sunlight or we can let me see if we get rid of uh, the sun completely and just have an emissive plane for as a light source. Yeah, something like that. Let's try. Mm, five. Yeah, I think maybe these are too space, so let's go back to geometry nodes. My name is Athava, by the way, I thank you. Ah, nice, nice to meet you, Atha. Athava. Lucas, you, you, you didn't tell me whether you wanted that as a, as a matted dripping texture or just, uh, just a texture, or just a single frame. Because that's, that's much easier if it's a single frame other than uh, 
Uh, if we if we add a character, then I think it's going to be more interesting. Yeah, than animated. Add her. I think we still need more, more steps. There shouldn't be gaps. Look at that. Okay. Let me change my thumbnail a bit here to something more interesting. Oh, we need to pull this back a bit. I think I can even duplicate some of these. The steps need to be wider. Then maybe play with the contrast.
Let me see. What else do we have in the library? Now this looks like a square aspect ratio instead of hmm, I think another way we can look at this project Maybe just hmm. I think I like that as well. Uh, let's look for another art to do. some interesting art we look at uh, some of the images we have been uh, looking at that I wanted to do in previous videos Hello ASO, yeah those are my PC specs, uh, thank you MTO. I'm looking for s some cool projects we can look at, we can do. Some are taking way less time than I expected. Making huh. Let me go to art station, maybe we can find some some interesting art there. This looks interesting. Last of Us. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay. New project. Let's try this. Really looking into something that is going to be interesting to do to work on. <coughs>
Okay. Hmm. This. Uh, I'm actually going to start with the train, uh, with the train generator, the rail generator, uh, which should be this. Yeah, this, yeah, it's an amazing refer reference. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the rails and I'm using the generator that I'll be giving away as a starting point. Texture Add in some rocks Okay And uh, let me also bring in some grass. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Train station. Where are you from? I'm uh, from East Africa, Uganda. What about you? I saw. Ground. From India? Nice, 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 nice. What part of India? Okay, let me create. think perfect concrete let me find some concrete material
Okay. Uh, I have some building assets uh, that I've been working on. Uh, so let me bring those in. I think they fit well here. If they might work well for this project. Just first rename them. Uh, let me just, cause I, I'm not sure if, uh, they, they're not yet done completely. So yeah, just copy, just paste in here. Let's copy this. The sun should be coming from the left. So, rotation 45 degrees. Hey, 80. And uh, maybe lower a bit. Five. Yeah. Thank you, Silent Smile. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. A hey, Linkin Park Horizon. Sup? How you doing? Let's see, do I have any bridge? Bridge. Huh? Bridge. Am I spelling that correct? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, come back here. Come back to the buildings collection. Basically, I'm trying to look for stuff that uh, would fit uh, this scene better. I remember uh, last time I tried this scene, I didn't have enough assets to do it. But I think today we, we, we might be able to, to, to manage this. Perfect. Can I even use quick trees uh, to bring in some trees? Oh, let me just use the polygonic, or bot sorry, bot botanic uh, trees here. Since, uh, yes, grab maybe something like this. Mm, add that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
Uh, I have a fence, some fences in my library, so let me get that. Yeah, fence. Just something to put here. Yeah, something like that. And then some street poles like uh, street street lights. Hello, we. What's up? Hello, Shiro. Did you hear about the new animation update coming to Blender? Ah, uh, no, I have not. I have not. What, what about it? Tell me about it. Maybe I can hear it from you. You guys are my source of news. I have not. Is there any anything interesting I should know about? Okay, this here should be asphalt. So road. We need light to be and let me get a train first. I watched this Smith video about it as at this morning. I have I haven't really looked into anything like that. Is it anything interesting? I should look it up after this. Uh train. Their motto is animation should be animating for the upcoming decade. I watched the live, the Blender live. Their motto is animators should be animating for the upcoming decade. They will, they will add node based animation and they will make rigging easier and uh, the animation will be optimized and not too heavy on the PC. I am not really good at English. Sorry. Oh, that's. I think that your English was good. I understood it clearly. Ah, oh, nice, nice. I, 
Yeah, it, it sh because rigging right now is super complicated. And uh, you have to treat every character quite differently. You have to approach every character a bit differently. And uh, rigs are harder to, re to be. It's not easy to reuse our rigs in different areas. You might be able to reuse uh, a human a character uh, because humans are basically the same. But uh, if it was, uh, I don't know. I guess uh, rigs can be re reused. What am I even talking about? You, you, they can be easily reused. I guess setting them up is the harder part. Need the sun to be raised up a bit. It's going to scale the create some false perspective. Uh, sure, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it and see after this. Do I have a car in here? Street lights.
Hello man, it's my a French girl. La Snifus Sud Druux. I can't even pronounce that. I, I, I think I've tried to pronounce that, but uh, yeah, I can't. I can't. But uh, welcome, to the, welcome to the stream. How are you? How is France if you are in France? Maybe some signs here and there. We need some clouds. For the background, so we have a plane in the background. Because the background right now looks a bit too plain. So Let's add a, a plane. Which is kind of ironic. I mean, background is too plain, so we are adding a plane instead of a, <laughs> a cube or something. Anyway, uh, let me uh, excuse my puns. They're not the best, but uh, yeah. anyway, let's just grab this cloud. Yes. Feed it in. I'm just going to projection from view. And uh, this should not affect the shadow. <laughs> Background look. Looks too plain as a plane in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what uh, I was thinking. Great minds, I think alike. Ah, so you also have uh, bad puns or bad jokes, <laughs> like me. Okay, uh, you shouldn't cast a shadow. Yeah, we should be adding spheres to make the background less plain. Hello, Kai Kaima Farah. How are you? Uh, could you speak in English so that everyone, so that at least most of us, uh, most of the chat can uh, understand? Because, uh, oh, at least I sh I understand what you're saying. Yeah, please uh, try using English only in the chat because that's what most of us understand here. Greatly appreciated. Let me see, can I try a different cloud? Yeah, that's... Hello, Ahmad Raihan. How are you? I need to change the color of the clouds a bit. Thank you, MTO. Right. Okay, let's see. You good? Good to know, good to know. Yes. Picking the right cloud is uh, a bit... Yeah. 
Okay, this area is lacking stuff. Maybe we can add more warehouses in the back. No, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's kind of seemed spammy as well. You're trying to, to, to remake it? Ah, uh, what happened? Did you, did you manage to remake it? It has a ton of stuff in it. Has a ton of stuff in it. Uh, let me get, ask you a question. How, how many how many of you guys got uh, the YouTube notifications? Uh, because I feel like uh, YouTube is no longer pushing out the notifications. Kind of misbehaving. Why is that? I mean, maybe these are too low. Uh, some of these are too low. Maybe around there. Are you get the notifications? questions? Hmm. I guess I, I haven't been uh, on schedule as usually as usual, so maybe that's uh, that's stripping YouTube a bit. Trying to see what else I can add in here. Yeah, fifty percent of the time you get them. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yes, uh, I need to be a little bit more consistent then. Need to be a little bit more consistent, I guess. Um. Uh, if I, if I add this. Uh, this bridge here, I think it, it will make these hours look too similar to this. Let me go to quick functions a bit here. Hello, Kaifa. Ah, that's a question mark. Hello, Fallen FX. How are you? Trying to see what else we can do as YouTube is, uh, as a uh, Blender is optimizing my images.
Lens flares are honestly easier in post, in my opinion. Yeah. Does anyone know where? No here? How to you to make lens flares? They're easier in post. And I would just recommend you to do them in post. Like MTO suggested. Uh, there is uh, though there is a uh, an add-on for lens flares. I'm forgetting the name. I actually have an affiliate link. I'm just forgetting uh, the name of the add-on. Okay, let's uh, look at other images we can make. We can make. Start a new project. Thank you, Humble for subscribing. What do you use to make them? Ah, yeah. I'll show you, but uh, that requires me to render the image, and uh, that's. Ah, actually. Oh, lens flares. I'm, uh, I'm actually forgetting. No, lens flares are actually not that easy at make. They're not that easy to make uh, after thinking about it. I think uh, what, what I was talking about was glares, glare effects, which are easier to make in post production. In to make in the compositor, but uh, lens layers are a bit harder, especially if you're going to do animation, uh, because the they have to track the camera, they have to uh, they have to have a relationship with the camera and the and the point in and the source of light. Ah, let me, what was I yeah, we're looking for new art to work on? Yeah, I've always wanted to make this image here, but uh, I somehow forget. I somehow forget. So yeah, first of all, let's get our building generator. I think I've used this, I created this one in the stream. Hello, Sat Globe. How are you? I have this building generator. Um, uh, I just need all of these to go in a, a backup collection. Thank you, really subscribing. Yeah, uh, this is a setup we created in a previous video, a uh, geometry nodes setup. Basically, a uh, building face, and uh, we can change uh, a few things. Huh. We don't have access to the number of heights, to the height of the building. Let me fix that and so that should be under my line here okay so with this only this face we can set up, start setting up everything. Let me first get the aspect ratio right. It's kind of square-ish. So camera pointing up like that. If it's very good for scenes like this, I'm doing a TARDIS animation. If you know what a TARDIS is, is you probably know what I want. Uh, the lens flare for 
for it glows at the top when it disappears and that is materializes. I don't think I know what that is, but uh, let me do a quick Google here. Uh, that is ah lens flare for it to glow oh that's well for this for this i think uh yeah the post-production would do the the lens glare node would uh, would be enough for for this type of effect Okay. Come here. Ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space, uh, volume object. The height should be as shouldn't be too tall, maybe something like that. And thank you, 33x, for subscribing. Okay, smiley face. I don't know if I should just use geometry. I'll just let me just do this using geometry since it looks super easy oh I actually have a neon pack so let me use that I must have something that fits this Ah, and uh, we can bring back our singles club. If <laughs> forgive me, Father, for I'm going to spoil my viewers. Anyway, uh, let's see. Going to save this as uh, I don't know neon buildings. I think what what light is it using? Okay, we need some, I don't know if I should just I go to the shader here. Mm, you think the emission won't work here very well, so let's see. Ok, 
Oke. Okay. Perfect. Hey, I have a question. In cycles, render decides render devices. Is it better to check both CPU and GPU or only uh, GPU? Uh, I think it. I, I don't think it matters because when rendering, it will just select whatever you have selected. Let me just show you here. Because if you go here, it will ask you whether to use GPU or CPU. So it will just choose whatever you have here. Okay, let me remove. <laughs> okay, uh, what? I need more stuff here. You have you have both checked. I think I also have both checked. Does it matter? Does anyone know if it matters? Because uh, I I didn't think it matters. I don't think it matters since uh, you you still have the option. You still have to select what uh, the, the render is going to use, anyways. Let me see if I remove the volume. Just give this. Uh, Still need extra buildings. The side. Let me see if I use cycles. I think this is now. I'm just going to use EV, stick to EV it's much easier with these things. Yeah, and it's actually starting to like how that is looking. I use cycles all the time and I hate running it, running into GPU out of memory issue. Uh, that's why I ask. So the issue with uh, GPU memory, when cycles does that, is uh, it could be that uh, you're using a lot of textures that are too big. So if you're using a lot of 4K textures, you can easily run out of memory. Uh, I doesn't. I don't think it's have. To, it has to do with uh, checking both CPU and GPU. It does some form of hybrid rendering with them both checked in certain scenarios from what I understand. Oh, hello, Tommy two. What's up?
Hmm. Still wondering how to light this. Helps if you lower your text size. Can can do that easily in the simplify tab. Hmm. Maximum subdivision, maximum particles. Uh, why is that option? Because uh, I don't think I can see it anywhere. So this is the only source of light we have. Let me first see if I can. Uh, change a few things, maybe adjust the color. Maybe it's only in cycles there was an option in cycles ah text the limit size viewport oh I, I see I see I see I see yeah it's, it's in cycles yeah so you can try that actually didn't know about this Yeah, so it's it's uh, it's it's only available in cycles, I guess. Hmm. I think to pull this off better, we need better buildings uh, that are more detailed. Because uh, the buildings I have right now uh, don't really work for close-up shots like this. They work best in uh in different lighting use try lighting add-on i don't think i have that i don't have that i just got a glare png with a face clear background fake uh, with a fake clear background <laughs> yeah there are a lot of fake png images out there hey okay, let's try a different piece uh, this one we need a lot of uh, different images uh, models with a different uh, level of detail see 
let's create a new project and uh, try something different. Go to Pinterest here. Uh, you can usually go to the site uh, it came from and download it though. I'm sure I understand. Uh, okay, let, let me see, let me see, let me see what could we try here. Hmm, I like this. Simple enough to do in a few, in a short time frame. I will have done this before. This is super complicated. I think I've tried it. I don't know if it w if I tried it on live on live stream or not. But uh, uh, let's see what else uh, can we try. That is uh, easily doable in uh, a short time frame without needing to create a ton of models. We can try this. Uh, the, the thing I like about Pinterest is that uh, they usually suggest other things which, uh, which are in the same style as what you're looking at. So it, uh, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Let's see. Hey, let's try with this. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we see is, uh, columns. And I do have some columns. Let me switch to cycles for this one. Turn on a sky. Sky texture. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with the... Uh, and thank you guys for the 51 likes. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, column. Uh, start with a column. Hey, Abel. How are you? Uh, column. I like this. And, uh, I'm just going to just rotate this at the 3D cancer. So just going to. Mm, I'll de rotate. Yeah, something like that. And then bring the camera in. Just. Oh, it's a square image. So let's try getting that. 19, 20 cycles. Uh, I guess I need a concrete material. Um, And uh, this top concrete, 
So that's going to be a circle mesh. Hey, Athava, thank you, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Yo, Marcus? Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Marcus. Okay, let's see. Bam. Now let me make sure this is using that material. <laughs> using the signature cut. Nice. Thank you, Den Dennis Van Helden. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Hey, just make sure that everything, because I'm s seeing light bleeding, it's usually indicates mm, let me call this uh whatever that one what's the best way to learn blender watching tutorials and uh, maybe live streams like this hey dope tip hit and the n on the reference image at copy the resolution Ah, image. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Uh, I, I also think this is uh, a bit wider, maybe. And uh, the walls are thicker. The sun is a bit above. So, uh, the elevation is uh, maybe 80. I think we need some volumetrics. Now, if you go to the world in the volume, we can add maybe a principal volume directly uh, this works best best in cycles, I think. Let me see. Oh, oh, it doesn't. Hmm. Expected it to work here. Let me see. Volume, uh, principal volume doesn't work. Let's see. Principal uh, volume scatter doesn't work either. 
I guess we we'll just use a volume object then. Okay, yeah, I like the volume detail, the strength of the volume there. And uh, the sun angle is uh, maybe negative 45. Negative, oh, I'm not seeing the pillars. These are really large pillars. Hey! Mauro Matei, thank you th for the six dollars. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I should get uh, a more powerful alert uh, for you guys. Oh, I always forget, but uh, thank you guys. Uh, thank you, thank you. And thank you for the 54 likes. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. I've done some CG first track tutorial course for Blender and have watched a lot of tutorials on Unreal Engine. Ah, have you done any Unreal Engine stuff? I want to get it into Unreal Engine, but uh, yeah, it requires uh, quite a beefy machine for that. Again, thank you, Mauro. Okay, um, yeah, I need a tree. All right, let me bring my add on quick trees. Yeah, it's already active. Guess I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's here. Uh, which tree should I use? Not something simple, less complicated. Yeah, maybe something like this. Yeah, Unreal Engine is uh, pretty legit. Uh, landscape scenes are very efficient to make in Unreal. Haven't used it in a while, though focused on Blender. Yeah, it's quite powerful, quite powerful. And uh, yeah, I want to get back to it at some point because uh, it's seems to be the future for uh, for live production and uh, and games hmm, I think this Now, uh, mate, uh, looks easy from the tutorial. It's hard though. Yeah, but uh, if if you practice enough, it uh, becomes much easier. Okay, uh, I need to change the leaf color to red. I'm going to, I'm um, going to do what? Add a color mix RGB here. Change this to red and actually
I have but I have botanic but it doesn't work for gold club arenas ah what uh, are you parking the I think you have to park the assets in the blend file uh, because when you link them into the blend file they are linked as linked objects so when you move the object when you move the file or you upload the file it's likely not uploading uh, the uh, the uh, the trees as well Yeah, Botanica is great. It has a, a lot. It has a lot of uh, trees. I don't like this aspect ratio. Uh, it's square-ish. Oh, and uh, the sun. Negative 90. And uh, elevation, maybe 50. Uh, maybe 80. Nah. 60. So that half of the pillar. So that we get half... Part of the pillar and uh, try changing the focal length to because uh, right now it's at uh, 25 it's a 50 to get more coverage uh, that's too stretched let's try 20. Ah, thank you, Sandra Co Comin Martinez, for subscribing. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Tried that, but the trees come without a textures, so I try to use the textures. A very heavy, as you put. Yeah. Guess that's a problem because I think they they use what four four K textures. They must be using uh, 4K or something. So if you have several images, several trees that are different, they are using, they're likely using different materials, uh, which means they're also likely, they're also likely, what? Uh, using different textures. which means under uh, each material is using since they are using PBR textures each material is using uh, about four images so those are four 4k images for each material so yeah they add up okay let's play with the colors a bit thank you Jenya Shano Karlov for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I guess we can add some grass. Can you increase the width of the pillar? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, 
I guess I can just do it in edit mode and uh, that should increase. Uh, the width of each of them. And, uh, it's also stretching. Remove this. We are trying to add grass. So I want it to be a bit brighter than uh, what I'm having here. So I'm going to add an area light just because you see we have a lot of highlights here than uh, what I'm seeing. So let me see if I can achieve that with an area light instead of uh, a skylight. Yeah, maybe that's too much. We push this. Can you please ink? Oh, uh, then that have I learned and use uh, Cinema 4D for almost four years. Do you think it's better that better learn Blender too? Well, it doesn't hurt to learn Blender, and uh, since you already know how to use Cinema, I shouldn't be that hard for you to learn Blender. Yes, add a sky background as well.
So without the volumetric, that's how things look. You see, if I bring back the sky, Now I'm going to actually leave this like that. Now let me add a character. Hmm, which one, which one, which one? Let me use this one. You try to lower the textures to 1K. Yeah, uh, try smaller textures and see. Now I want this concrete to look more white. Yeah, something like that. I uh, thank you, Kamru, Islam MK. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, now I think we are getting there. I think we are getting there. Okay, let me just. Let me change the aspect ratio maybe to by 1080. Oh, the camera a bit. Okay. Try something else. Okay, okay, um, I think uh, today is going to be a short stream, and uh, I just a reminder that uh, in three, three days I'll be uh, giving away uh, my new geometry nodes, uh, let me sh setups, let me show you uh, that, where is this, where, where is this, where is this, uh, na, 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 na. still working on the fourth one. But uh, basically, it will be if I can find these. It will be first. Uh, this it's going to be all free. 
on my Blender Everything website. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, this here. It's a road gener railroad generator. Just have it playing in slow mo, but it just generates roads. Railroads are like this. Uh, you can see you can control uh, the slope. Uh, how many? I don't know what those are called, but the rails uh, add grass, add uh, yeah, and it works in cycles and EV. Uh, no problem, MTO creation. Thank you. thank you for modding as well, and thank you guys guys for the sixty one likes. Appreciate that. Uh, this the second one is going to be uh, which one? Yeah, this river generator. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, if, if, if you are interested in geometry nodes, this should uh, give you an idea of how geometry nodes works. You can look into them and uh, basically reverse engineer them into whatever you want. Uh, this is the rip the rope bridge generator yeah i think i'm going to end this one here uh we can uh try this tomorrow uh thank you